Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about packaging of DNA into chromosome that is how DNA is packed into chromosome. We know that DNA is the genetic or hereditary material that is present inside the nucleus of a cell if we talk about eukaryotic cell. So it is required to compact the length of DNA by a remarkable amount in order to fit it inside nucleus. So there is a need to compact DNA so that it can fit in the nucleus. Hence, eukaryotic DNA is organized into chromosome and DNA is present in the nucleus in the form of chromosome. In order to fit a DNA molecule into its chromosome, a highly organized packaging system is needed. Here we are going to discuss about this packaging of DNA into chromosome. During the packaging, DNA binds to many different cellular proteins. Amount of protein to which DNA binds is twice that of the DNA itself. Also DNA along with protein is known as chromatin. Hence chromatin is what? Nucleoprotein complex that is DNA plus proteins. It is a dynamic structure. Why dynamic structure? Because it is capable of changing its shape and structure during the life of a cell. Chromatin is condensed chromosome at metaphase stage and it is very diffuse structure in interphase. So we can say that it is a dynamic structure. Chromatins are made up of DNA and two types of proteins. First is histone protein and second is non-histone protein. Now the histone proteins, these are the most abundant proteins. These are small basic proteins and have net positive charge. This positive charge is due to the presence of high percentage of basic amino acids like arginine and lysine. H1, H2A, H3, H2B, H4 are five primary histones found in eukaryotic chromosomes. Among the five histone proteins, four histone proteins H2A, H2B, H3 and H4, their amino acid sequences are highly conserved. So, they have the role in organizing the DNA in chromosome of all eukaryotes. So in all eukaryotes, these four types of the histone proteins have role in organizing the DNA in the chromosome. Also, they share a similar tertiary structure. Hence, these are ultimately evolutionarily related or these are related in the course of evolution. But if we talk about H1 histone, these are not conserved, but these show variation between species. It is not the part of nucleosome. It is linker histone associated with linker DNA. And it lies at the point where DNA enters and leaves the nucleosome. Also, it functions as a clamp around the nucleosome. Hence, it restricts the DNA into its place. So, the nucleosome along with H1 histone protein is known as chromatosome. So, this is the nucleosome which is the octamer of four histone proteins H2A, H2B, H3 and H4. Hence, this H1 histone is not part of nucleosome. It is attached to the or it binds to the linker DNA. Hence, it is known as linker histone. It binds to the region where the DNA enters and leaves the nucleosome or octamer. So, H1 histone is not the part of nucleosome. And nucleosome along with H1 histone protein is known as chromatosome. The detailed structure of the nucleosome chromatosome and the further level of packaging of DNA. We will discuss in detail in the next part of this video. Second is non-histone proteins. All proteins associated with DNA except histones are 
non histone proteins example proteins binding to dna during replication transcription recombination repair etc these are mainly negatively charged hence bind to positively charged histone proteins these differ in number and type from organism to organism from cell to cell in same organism and sometimes these differ in the same cell now let us see the overview of the levels of packing or packaging of dna this is the double helix of dna which has the width of 2 nanometer in the next level of packaging dna is complex with histones and these histones form nucleosomes each nucleosome is an octamer of four different types of histones and dna is wrapped around these nucleosomes h1 histone protein binds to the linker dna dna that is present between the two nucleosomes are known as linker dna to this h1 histone binds and then nucleosomes along with h1 histone is known as chromatosome so this type of chromatin appears as beads on a string it has width of 11 nanometer further this beads on string structure then coils helically which has the width of 30 nanometer and each turn of the helix consists of six nucleosomes these are known as the 30 nanometer fiber these are also known as solenoid fiber in the next level this 30 nanometer fiber forms loop which has the width of 300 nanometer now this 300 nanometer fibers are further compressed and folded and becomes more condensed having the width of 700 nanometer this 700 nanometer fiber is further tightly coiled now the width is 1400 nanometer and the chromosome that appears during the metaphase is due to this level of packaging so this is the metaphase chromosome and this is the centromere this is all for today's video in the next video we will discuss about the structure of nucleosome chromatosome and other levels of packaging of dna in detail so stay tuned if you like this video please hit the like button share it and subscribe my channel Thank you.